Sex anniversary gives us 6 time character quest or experience reward, so I want to see how much experience we can get from the higher floor to see if there is a low hanging fruit until I saw this quest that gives 5.6 million experience. This is a quest for to fight the incarnate of the radius which is the floor 100 boss. The boss is weak to slash and fire elements. I come up with this sets that use the final blow Kirito as the main damage dealer and 2 other fire skills for buff and increasing the switch faster. Since the start the boss has a damage reduction buff that will last for 2 hours that reduces my damage significantly. I use dagger on my second set to apply more debuff to the enemy but even with that my damage is still very low. Fortunately, there is a way to remove the buff, which is by hitting the boss with switch attack, which is why my build is focusing on the switch gained. In the board quest, when we hit the boss with switch attack 2 times, the damage reduction buff will be removed, and that makes the fight a lot easier. The damage with my weaker sword skill is still not that high because the boss has a really high defense. However, my mod sword with mark debuff can now do a decent amount of damage that makes me confident that I will be able to kill the boss with a decent time. I use my rush when my switch is filled up knowing that the fight will be a long one and my rush will be filled up again when I need it. The boss uses a lot of attack that can knock us back making it difficult to get close to the boss to deal damage. We also will get a defense debuff when we got hit by a certain attack which will reduce my damage significantly because my mod sword damage rely on my defense stats. Each of one of the boss's attack also inflicts scorch that will deal damage per seconds and reduce our damage therefore I equip this ring and EX skill that give me 100% burn resistance. I also equip this leviability skill that will heal me by 4.2% when my HP drops below 50% to increase my survivability. The fight goes on until I drop the boss's HP to 50% where it's time for my connect skill to shine. Because the boss will use the break move and if we fail to break the boss it will heal itself every 3 seconds which can get its AP back to almost full. Fortunately I have this 2 of the best break sword skills and I attach those to my hit cleave's connect skill which is a decent break skill itself. The second reason why I use a connect skill is because the boss usually fly far, far away before it uses the break move, I can catch up faster with connect skill. The boss also have a slash fire break move, we don't need to worry about this one though because if we don't break the boss, they will not get any buff. Then I will continue to chip away the boss HP until it goes down to 25% when it usually uses the other slash break move again to heal but for some reason it doesn't do it on this run. Maybe because it uses the slash fire break move and I have dropped its HP below a certain level that makes it skip the slash break move. Well, it works in my favor. It is coming to the last stretch, but the boss keep on running away from me and pushing me back as if it knows if it was about to die and try to get away from me. So I try to finish it off with a one final blow and fill up my switch cards to level 3 and wait for my rush to be ready to use as well. Then the ladylike smiles upon me and gives me a double mark debuff. It is a perfect timing to use my rush and level 3 switch. And BAM the final blow is connected but what happened? My final blow doesn't kill the boss but I got teleported out of the dungeon. Well I guess we don't really need to drop the boss HP to 0 which works better for me. It took me around 10 minutes to beat the boss but with 5.6 million experience and chance to get an armament stone, I think it's worth it. But wait, usually I get a prompt to re-challenge the dungeon. How come it's not there? I also cannot open the building board quest list too. What? Where did everyone go? Why is it so quiet? Even the guild calendar girl is gone? Where is everybody? Where is the merchant? Where is the blacksmith? and a trader. And why can't I get out of this map? This is weird. Looks like I have been teleported to an instant dungeon where nobody is around by the boss. This is ridiculous. I have tried a couple more times after this and we do still get the 5.6 million experience but I always get trapped in these dimensions when nobody's around and we cannot go anywhere every time I beat the boss. The only way to get out of this dungeon is to log out from the game and log back in which is very annoying. Well it gives really high experience point. I don't want to keep logging out and log back in every time I finish the quest. Hopefully one day we'll fix this bug so that we can farm experience this way in the future. 
that's it for the video. bye now.